Today we're going to take a look at how to remove an element inside a doubly linked list. So suppose we have this example list, one, three, and seven, one being the tail and seven being the head of our doubly linked list. How do we go about removing the node in the middle? Take a moment and think about what changes need to occur inside the linked list so that we don't have to so that we don't have the element three inside it. So first you might notice that some of the arrows here are going to disappear, right? So I'm going to mark this arrow because this is going to just disappear because it's part of the node with the value three and same as this guy, because it's no longer going to be there once the node uh, completely gets removed. Therefore, we only have these two arrows to work with, correct? That means that we all we have to do is change these two arrows so that our linked list is uh, basically doesn't have the node with the value three in it. And to do so, we can simply remove this arrow and change it so that instead of pointing to three, it points to seven. If I change the color, of course, just like that. So now one arrow next is seven. That's nice. But then we have to change this arrow as well. And similarly, all we have to do is just change this arrow from instead of pointing to three to point to one. So if I do that and make it point to one, there we go. And now one arrow next is seven. Seven is our head, so we have nowhere else to go. And seven arrow previous is one, and one is our tail. We have nowhere else to go. And the link only has these two elements. We no longer, uh, we no longer see three as an element inside the list, right? As you can see, if you are either on either ends, either the tail or head, you cannot get to three, even though three might have some links to the list. But now since it's, it's no longer inside the list, we can simply remove the whole uh, node. So we can just free the memory basically for our node. And now we're just left with these two uh, nodes inside the list. Now, practically, how do we do that? Well, first things first, I want to change things a bit from how we did it with singly linked lists. Because in singly linked lists, if you remember, what we did was remove actual values. We were searching for values and then removing the nodes. In this case, I'm going to create a function that instead takes in the node that we want to remove and simply removes it altogether. So we simply do void remove node. I'm going to pass in the node here as a parameter, a, a single pointer to node because we don't need a double pointer in this case. And that's all we need. This is sort of an advantage with doubly linked list because with singly linked list, we couldn't have done this. Uh, if you remember, if you, for example, have this situation, you would have had to modify the previous node. So you couldn't just pass in the node with the value three to the function. You would have had to pass the node with the, with the value one as well. So that's why in this situation is much easier to remove a node with double linked list. You already have free arrow previous and you already have free arrow next. So you have re references to both ends or the both neighbors of that uh, node. Now let's try to figure out what it is that we have to change. Well, we have to change this guy. What's this guy? This is, this is something arrow next. Okay. But what is that something? That something is the node that we want to uh, delete, but it's previous. So it's free arrow previous arrow next. That is the value, the actual arrow that we want to modify. So we can say here node arrow previous, right? That's the, for example, in our example, it would be the node with the value one. That's nice. And then arrow next is the link to the, well, to this node that we want to remove. And we want to give it a different value. So now its value is the node with the value three, but that's not correct. We want to change it. So we want to change it to what? To the node with the value seven. How can we get that from the node with the value three? Simple. Well, node, while node is the node with the value three, node arrow next would be the node with the value seven. 
So we could say simply that equals node arrow next. So it's sort of skipping now over the uh, node that we want to delete. Similarly with the previous link. So we have to take a look at what what is this arrow in respect to our node with the value three that we want to remove. Well, it's something arrow previous. That something happens to be free arrow next. So it's free arrow next arrow previous or node arrow next arrow previous for uh, every case. So it would be node arrow next arrow previous. And we have to set that to what? To be the previous node, right? The previous, previous to the current node that we want to remove. So node arrow previous just like so. So now all the links are correct. Now there's a problem with these lines of code. Um, what if instead of removing the three, we want to remove one, our tail? Well, our tail has the property that, okay, tail arrow next has some value, but tail arrow previous, this guy is always null. And that's, that's a problem because if this were to be tail, tail arrow previous would be null. And we're trying to dereference it getting the very next from it. So we have to check. We have to check if it's not null. So we're gonna add here a check. If node arrow previous is not null, right? So if you're not the tail, then actually do this assignment. Otherwise it doesn't matter. We don't really need to change anything. If it's the tail, we don't have a previous node that we have to link it to the next one, right? We don't have to skip over anything. Similarly with node arrow next. So node arrow next would be null if what? If we want to delete the head of our double link list. Okay, now we're almost done. So we are in this situation, right? Where our double link list is keeping over our node, but we also have to remove the node itself. Well, we simply have to call the function free on our node and that's it. That basically is uh, the whole function, takes in just the node and uh, relinks everything and simply frees the memory. So you can test it on, let's say the node three. So if I say here, remove node of, let's say what's, what's free? Three is the second element. Now what's the second element? Well, the first element we know it's tail. So we can say tail arrow next, that would be the second element. So I'm just gonna pass in here tail arrow next. And now if I print every single element here, you're gonna notice that we only have one and seven. So that worked nicely. But there's a problem when it comes to removing either the tail or the head of our double link list. If I try to remove our tail, which is the element one, right? If you try to run this, you'll notice we get an error. Hmm. Why might that be? Well, the, the problem is very simple. We remove the node tail, right? We remove the node tail, we simply make the links proper. So in this case, it would be, this seven would be our new, or this three would be our new tail and you would just kind of link everything together. That's fine, right? Uh, and this guy, arrow previous would be null, so that's correct as well. But uh, this tail guy is a variable, is a variable inside our stack and we don't provide a reference to that variable. So this guy inside our function does not change. And that's a problem. Since it doesn't change, that means that we still have a pointer, an arrow, to that place in memory that we have freed right here. And what happens if you have a pointer to that place in memory? Well, if you dereference that, you're gonna get an error most of the time. Now, there are many ways to actually fix this issue, but the easiest one is to just get an auxiliary pointer. So for example, I can say here, node auxiliary equals our new tail, so tail arrow next, Right, and then we remove the tail. And since the place in memory that tail is pointing to no longer is, is no longer accessible, we can just say the new tail 
equals auxiliary, right? Because we still have this this pointer here, and we still have tail arrow next. Knowing that, well, tail is not null. So you'd have to also check that. Probably in our case, we don't have to check it because we know that it's not null. Now, if I try to run this, you'll notice I get three and seven. So that's something that you have to keep in mind when working with this stuff here. And similarly with the head, if you have such a situation. All right, now, as a homework, you can take a look at the singly linked list and try to make a similar function to this. Now, you're not gonna be able to do it with just simple pointers. You're gonna have to have double pointers, but if you think about it a bit more, you're gonna figure it out, I think. Just remember, you're gonna have to use double pointers for this. So similar, just remove node and taking a node uh, double pointer as a parameter, not how we had it before with uh, a root and the actual value. That'd be an interesting uh, exercise, I think. And that's about it with removing a node. Right. If you do have any questions, do leave them down comments below or on our Discord server. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.